let's solve this problem 389 in this problem it is said that the rigid pole and cross arms of problem 205 are shown again here so we are required to determine the tension tae and tgf in the two supporting cables resulting from the 1.2 kN tension in cable CD right so here in this cable CD we have 1.2 kN tension and we are required to find the tension in this GF cable right so we are required to find this TGF and this TAE right so we are required to find this and it is said that assume the absence of any resisting moments on the base of the pole at O about the x and y axis but not about the z axis right so this means that there is a uh, reaction moment at point O about the z axis right so if we let's say that this is that moment let's say this is mz now we are going to solve this problem by vector analysis right so first we will find all the vectors right the vector of this t TAE and TGF right so let me write that T vector will be equal to T magnitude and the unit vector along CD right so the unit vector along CD will be CD vector divided by CD magnitude and this will be equal to right so we need to travel 1.5 meters in the positive x direction to reach that point D so I will write plus 1.5 i and then we will travel this much distance so this is 3 plus 1.5 so this is 4.5 along the negative z axis right so i will write minus 4.5 k and then we will travel this 3 meters in the positive y direction so i will write plus 3 j so this is that cd vector and the magnitude of this so the magnitude will be 1.5 square and this magnitude comes out to be 5.612 right so i can write that this is 5.612 and if we divide all these terms by 5.612 uh, so then this t vector equals to we can write that this is t and this is 0.267 i plus 0.534 j minus 0.802 k so to avoid confusion let me write that this is t c d right and uh, this is t c d and this is t c d right similarly we can write it here as this is t c d and this is t c d right and we are given this magnitude as well this one point uh 1.2 kilo newton is given right so this is that t c d vector now we will find t g f vector so t g f will be equal to t g f magnitude and g f divided by g f magnitude right so this is the unit vector along g f so this will be t g f and to reach that point f first we need to travel this much distance in the negative z direction so this is minus this is 3 meters so we will write minus 3 k and then we will travel plus 2 meters in the positive i direction so i will write plus 2 i divided by this is not equal right this is multiplied by so this is we will find the magnitude this is 2 square plus minus 3 square and this magnitude is 3.606 right so we can write that this is 3.606 and when we divide um, both of these terms by this uh, magnitude so then this tgf equals to tgf magnitude and this is 0.555i minus 0.832 k similarly we will find tae so tae magnitude and the unit vector along ae ae vector divided by ae magnitude tae 
and now uh, we have to travel in the negative z direction that is 3 meters so i will write minus 3 k and then we need to travel minus 1.5 meters in the x direction right so this is one minus 1.5 i and then again we will find the magnitude of this so this is 1.5 square plus and now when we divide both of these terms by this magnitude so then t a e equals to minus 0 0.447 i minus 0.894 k now since in this problem we have uh, these two unknowns right so we have to select uh, an axis so that we can eliminate one of the unknown from them right and we can eliminate we cannot eliminate this t whose magnitude is given right so we have to keep this t uh, in our calculation and then we have to eliminate one of the unknowns from both of these vectors right so if we find the summation of moment about x equals to 0 so as we can see that this t a e is intersecting with the x axis so it will not produce the moment about the x axis and as we can see that this t g f and this t vector this t c d vector is not intersecting with the x axis so they are producing the moment about the x axis right so if we apply this equilibrium condition so this t g f and this t c d will be involved in this summation of moment along x right so one one of the vector is known and one we can find the other one by using this condition that is the summation of moment about x equals to 0. So again and again uh, I will be telling you people that while solving the 3D equilibrium problem finding the moment about any axis is very crucial right the selecting the uh, summation of the moment axis is very crucial in such problems right. So now we will find the summation of moment about x equals to 0 now let's say that the moment arm for tgf is from o to f right so i will write r o f cross tgf vector so this will give us the moment of tgf about point o but we are finding the moment along the x axis right so we will take the dot product with the i unit vector right the x axis unit vector then i will write plus and then we will define the moment arm for this TCD vector, right? This is TCD. Let me write that this is TCD. So the moment arm for this, we can take OD as the moment arm, right? So I will write ROD vector cross TCD. And then we are finding, um, this will give us the moment about point O. So then we want to find the moment along the X axis is at point O. So then we will take the dot product with I, right? And this will be equal to zero so again this is the scalar triple product right so i will write the unit vector i so this is one zero and zero r o f so to reach that point f we have to travel two meters in the positive x direction so i will write plus two and then we need to travel uh, minus one in the negative y direction so i will write minus one and this will be zero and tgf so this is tgf vector so we will write the tgf magnitude outside and this is 0 0.5550 0 and minus 0 0.832 then plus tcd we can write tcd magnitude outside and tcd magnitude is given that is 1.2 kilonewton so we will write 1.2 kilonewton outside and then 1, 0, and 0, and ROD. So ROD vector is only along the y axis, right? So we will write that this is 3, 0, and 0. And TCD is 0 0.267, 0 0.534, and minus 0 0.802. And this will be equal to 0. So now as we can see that the this element and this element is 0 so we can find the determinant by only this element right so we can write it like this so this will be minus into minus plus so this will be 0 0.832 tgf 
plus 1.2 and again this will be 3 into minus 0 0.802 and this is 0 and this will be equal to 0 right. So, this equation will give us the TGF magnitude. So, when we solve this TGF equals to 3.47 kilo Newton. Now, uh, we know this TGF magnitude. Now, we need to find this TAE. So, now we need to select an axis which will eliminate one of the vector from these three. Right. So, if we find the moment about the y axis, so this that will eliminate this TCD from our calculation and then we will be left with TGF and TAE. Since TAE and TGF are not intersecting the y axis, right. So, I will write the summation of moment about y axis. We will apply this equilibrium condition. The summation of moment about y axis is, is equal to 0. So, again we will use the scalar triple product, right. So, summation of moment about y will be we will take we will be taking the dot product with j. Right, since j is the unit vector and uh, the direction cosine along the y axis, right. So, this is j dot, and then as we can see that this TAE is producing the moment about y axis. So, we will write r cross TAE, and let us say that the moment arm for TAE is this OE, right. So, this is r OE moment arm. And then we will write plus and again I will write j dot with dot product and then this TGF I will write R cross TGF and the moment arm. So, let us say that the moment arm for this TGF is again that OF right. So, I will write R OF and this will be equal to 0. So, again we will apply the scalar triple products. So, j so j is now 0 1 0 r o e. So, this is r o e we need to travel only in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus 1.5 0 and 0 and t a e. So, t a e is known right this is t a e we will write the magnitude outside minus 0 0.447 0 minus 0 0.894 plus 0 1 0 and ROF. So, again we need to travel uh, 2 meters in the positive x. So, I will write 2 and then in the negative y we need to travel 1 so minus 1 and this is 0 and TGF right. So, TGF magnitude is known we will write it outside this is plus this is 3.47 and these are the components right. So, 0 0.555 this is 0 and minus 0 0.832 and this will be equal to 0. Now, again we can find the determinant by only this column right. So, this will be TAE and this is 1. So, with 1 there is always uh, minus associated right. So, I will write minus and this is minus 1.5 into 0 point minus 0. So, this is become positive right. So, this is 1.5 into 0 0.894 again I will write plus 3.47 again we will use this one. So, and again there is minus sign associated. So, I will write minus 2 into minus 0 0.832 and this will become 0 and this is equal to 0. So, we can find TAE from this equation. So, from this TAE vector magnitude equals to 4.30 kilo Newton right. So, this is the solution of this problem.